Now, where this is coming in handy with viewports, we're going to go to this example 4.1 here. And so on the left, I've got a viewport that simply shows all of my kitchen, bathroom, laundry room, the entire floor plan. On the right, I'd like to create a quick view of one of my named views. So what I can do here is go to the layout tab again and click insert view. It's going to show me my two options. I'm going to choose the kitchen and I'm just going to hit OK or click to place it. You can see that it's automatically placed the view that I've already set up automatically in a viewport in my layout. Now I can do another one here for dining room. And now we've got a quick three view drawing that I've done almost nothing to set up. I simply clicked and added these viewports. They're automatically in. They've even been set to the proper scale. They're at a quarter inch equals one. And now I'm ready to go. I can also do what I had shown before by double clicking in one of these viewports, choosing lay freeze, and I can get rid of some of the text here. If I simply want to show the electrical for these, I could go in here, get rid of the text for that one. And there, that's another quick and easy way to set up viewports within AutoCAD that many users aren't taking advantage of nearly enough. Now, I hope this video was helpful. And if you've got any comments, don't forget to leave them down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and check out my AutoCAD Fundamentals and Workflows course and get the complete CAD toolbox to get all of my courses, templates, cheat sheets, and more in one easy to understand package. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one and cheers.